This is your Lead Left Podcast for the week of September 26th. I'm Randy Schwimmer. Welcome back. Public capital allocation is governed by fast cash. So when money flows out of retail funds, it's a headwind to deal activity. Private capital has long-term locked up funds. But in this period of uncertainty, managers are taking longer looks at risks versus opportunities. For private equity and credit, portfolio construction is destiny. As we've said many times, the importance of picking the right assets from the start largely determines returns. Since you can't trade the assets, you can't unload a problem into a ready secondary market. Timing is a part of every portfolio manager's toolkit to seek undervalued BSL loans or out of favor industries. Liquidity allows them to pick exit and entrance points. But if a direct lender's portfolio stumbles when the economy softens, that lender may find themselves with a long-term problem. Managers are also coming under greater scrutiny from credit investors. Issues such as differentiated sourcing are taking on increased importance in a world of deal scarcity. How do you find deals when there are no deals? Sponsor-focused lending relies on relationships. But today, it's not only who you know, but who trusts you to deliver. Tighter interest coverage and the risk of recession means lenders are more carefully allocating dry powder. Sponsors are adapting by clubbing transactions among a smaller group of trusted relationship players, rather than relying on one for the whole piece. The prospect of a pause in M&A activity means sponsors are looking to existing platforms for growth. Lending groups are accordingly fielding more add-on financing requests. They are also being asked with each deal, how much more dry powder do you have? Another pain point is so-called MFN, or Most Favored Nation Clauses. These covenants protect lenders from issuers obtaining higher priced debt without treating existing lenders to the same terms. Another tactic is to expand delayed draw term loans to fund acquisitions. As rates escalate, locking in today's spreads will likely be cheaper than waiting for whatever tomorrow may bring. Reporting from the most favored nation station at the lead left, this is Randy Schwimmer, wishing you and your families a safe and healthy week.